This is a Clark University podcast. I have so far watched about 30 different kids shows, about two episodes of each. Um, as the results are coming in uh, from the survey, still watching shows and still coding them as well for aggressive content. Favorite right now, honestly, it's got to be Bluey. It's I just discovered it through doing this research, but it is, I think, the cutest show I have seen in years, and it's just, it's so wholesome, and it's, it's just delightful. For many Clark students, the summer serves as a time to delve deep into study. I'm Ben Wolf. I am a senior. I'm a psychology major and an education minor. Ben Wolf spent his summer break researching. He's been surveying caregivers about what TV shows their kids watch, looking for any potential links between aggression in television and aggression in play. So I got inspired to do this because I really enjoy working with kids and um, learning more about how kids play. We met Ben at Worcester's Elm Park to learn more about his project. Television is just so present in kids' lives and just media and technology overall, and it's not going away. And so I find that it's really important to understand how the different content kids are seeing in television shows affects them and affects their behavior and affects how they're playing. I'm Melissa Hansen, a producer in Clark's communications office, and this is Challenge Change. To better understand aggressive play in young children, Ben and his faculty mentor, Dr. Anna Marcello, look for two types of aggression present during play. The first one is during uh, solitary pretend play. We see if kids are creating narratives where characters are hitting each other, characters are being mean to each other, and we're also seeing how are they playing with their toys. And then, you know, are kids getting into fights with each other? Are they acting out kind of aggressive situations in a more playful manner? And that's very different than actual physical violence between uh, kids, and although it's aggression, that could be very positive. The study began with a survey for caregivers. The main three things that we looked at in the questionnaire are what TV shows are kids watching and how are caregivers rating it for aggressive content? Uh, Are they seeing these shows as aggressive that their kids are watching? Are there more pro-social themes present? We're also looking at how much do caregivers value play. And then finally, we ask caregivers to answer a few questions about their child's behavior and how their child would react in different situations that could prompt anger, could prompt aggression, or could prompt them to be more pro-social. Caregivers overall were pretty positive on play and really seeing it as something that is important for their children um, and important for social emotional learning and as well as some academic learning, which really matches up with the trend we've been seeing overall recently with um, more and more schools kind of pushing the value of play. And we just, in general, are seeing play become very prominent when we're talking about child development. Overall, um, the more caregivers are valuing play, the less likely uh, they are to report their child as being aggressive. With his survey complete, Ben is preparing to invite kids into the lab for the next stage of his research process. The next step is going to be bringing kids into the lab and talking with them and having them watch TV shows, then play, and then we're going to measure their aggressive behavior as well. But the goal of that is to really see, are the TV shows directly affecting their behavior? Because with the questionnaire, we can look at a lot of correlations and see different factors associated with each other. But when we actually bring kids into the lab, we'll be able to see, is this having a direct effect? Ben is using a coding system to help organize his data. He's been watching dozens of children's shows and taking painstaking notes on any displays of aggression. So we have, I think it's seven different categories of aggression, uh, including verbal aggression, physical aggression, object aggression, which is physical attacks against an object versus a person. And then we're looking at pro-social themes as well. And so for each 15 second interval in a TV show, is aggression present? Is each of these types of aggression present? And if it is, we put a check mark and then 
uh, throughout the entire show, do that, and then at the end, tally everything up, and then that, that way we can easily compare in a more quantitative manner uh, across shows. I keep talking about pro-social themes. Um, that's really huge. We're seeing that across all, all TV shows, really, that there's some element of learning to help other people, whether it's a superhero show that's a lot about you know, defeating the bad guy or saving someone. Uh, it's all of these positive things about helping other, out other people. And there's a lot about uh, how to manage your emotions well, a lot really focusing on how can these shows help child development which is really wonderful and for, for this age group in particular, um, because as you kind of age up in the shows, they, there becomes less and less of that. Ben's deep interest in this research stems from a desire to give caregivers more insight into how children's media diets might impact their growth. He also wants to unveil more about the role play has in child development. Discovering how TV consumption affects play could provide vital information. I just find it so rewarding. Um, I really, you know, see such crucial turning points in development and kids growing and learning around, you know, the age I'm looking at, four to six years old. And in the past, I've really I've worked with seven, eight, nine a lot. And that age as well, I think there's a lot of turning points um, in that age. And so I see my role is any way that I can help these kids um, reach a positive development and just, you know, be happy, free-going uh, kids. Um, it's really rewarding for me and just a lot of fun as well. To learn more about psychology at Clark, visit clarku.edu. To learn more about internship opportunities, check out the Career Connections Center. Links are in the show notes. Challenge Change is produced by Andrew Hart and Melissa Hansen for Clark University. Find other episodes wherever you listen to podcasts. One, two, three. Clark! <laughs>